Since I start to come to India, I have been familiarized with the Shiva Linga as the symbol of the divine, the divine manifestation as a phallus enshrined in the divine vulva, the yoni. One can find lingans in all kinds of materials and in the temples and even you can buy them and bring them home. Even though the sacred tantric text of the Kaulayana Nirnaya in the third chapter says that as a deep understanding of the divine, one should not worship even in the mind, a linga made of wood, clay, stone, jewel, brass, gold, iron, crystal, tin, lead, or copper, or which are painted with the colors of flowers as it is worshipped by common people, and according to 18 popular scriptures, both vulgar and spiritual. Oh, great goddess, this happened because some people are ignorant, devoid of the experience of the divine knowledge. Legends tell us that around the third century, it appeared a very mysterious saint or Shiva avatar named Lakulisha. As the founder of the Pasupata sect, or to restore the cult of Shiva. In the book, in the legends of the Linga Purana, Lakulisha is seen as the creator of the yoga philosophy. In his iconography, he appears with his fellow in erection. <laughs> Shiva is sometimes depicted with the phallus erectus, mostly when he is in his form of Bhairava, some people here call Bero. But recently, in a trip in Madhya Pradesh, in a place in some caves near Sanchi, where Vishnu and Shiva were carved in the walls of the cave, and suddenly I noticed a big sculpture of Ganesh with his fellow erector. I have never before noticed a Ganesh representation with the Fallu Erectus. But sometime after, I bought a bell and I conclude that maybe Ganesh with the Fallu Erectus is not such a rare thing. The sacred symbolism of the Erectus Fallus is found all over the world. I remember visiting a museum in Lima, Peru, where they were some pots with quite a lot with uh, clay pots with the form of the phallus in Pompeii and Herculaneum I have also seen wall paintings of Mercure with his phallus erectus and a painting of a man having his gigantic male organ uh, scale in a scale. We found in Mongolia a monolith phallus in a hill near the place where it is said that was constructed the first Buddhist monastery in the country around the 16th century. A Dene Zhu Kid. Now it has been reconstructed. And the most extraordinary paintings of Fallu are 
in Bhutan. Legends say that it is to attract the favors of a great monk and siddha called Drupa Kinle. This divine madman lived at the end of the 15th century, beginning of the 16th century. He mastered the Mahamudra, the esoteric Buddhist alchemy, beyond the established rules. representation of the female energy and it is almost impossible to talk about the female energy without the counterpart that is the masculine energy. 